All right, I'm going to go through how the shift linkage works on this 1973 Plymouth Duster. Uh, it used to have the B&M shifter hooked up to somebody installed. Well, they had routed the cable very poorly, unfortunately, and it just went straight on and right to the trans. And it was right between the exhaust manifold and the motor. And those cables do not like heat at all. Not one bit. And I, it's just a mystery to me why uh, b and doesn't make a sheath that's stainless steel, or at least metal, that has a wire inside, just like this low car. No, it's just rubber. How stupid is that? So, I just got finished swapping the factory uh, column shifter linkage back on, so... This is going to be a quick run through of that. I had some extra linkage laying around from some other cars in the past. And uh, this car essentially didn't really have the linkage I needed. So let's get under here. All I had was the rod, the one rod. Let's see if you can see that. This rod that goes up to the column shifter and goes to this bracket right here. That's all I had. So anyways, I got this bracket. This I think they call it a Z shift, a Z rod bracket tree. Man, it's difficult to film under here like this, but anyways. Uh, I got it in there and I didn't even have a bolt for this one. And then I figured out what size it was just based off of my thread cleaner kit and rethreader kit. Just kind of ran a Bolt through there, and it's actually the same exact type that goes on these trans, this trans pan bolt right here. All these, essentially the same thread pitch for that. Uh, I think it's seven sixteenths. Um, so I got that on there with this little portion connected to the Z bracket, and I got a lock washer and a washer, and uh, so the way I got the Z bracket in here. Um, there's a little piece that you have to bolt onto the trans right there. You want to bolt it on as such. And then, when you're about to get this Z bracket assembly up in here, you just gotta kinda shove it up and in, and first end needs to go right in there, and then you just bring this end up, and you will have like two small holes and a big hole. The big hole is going to be the recess for this little hook on this bracket that kind of goes like that, kind of helps position it. And then above that, the smaller hole is actually threaded. I don't know why the other one right next to it, but the one just above that is threaded. And that's where the bolt is sitting. So, bigger hole, smaller hole, that's threaded where the bolt is. And uh, now we got that bracket in. Um, we go over to here, you got this little adjuster block on this rod that goes over to the shift shaft uh, deal on the transmission. And you can adjust that because your bushings will wear out over time to make it more accurate to where your position is according to the column. So anyways, everything's a little bit loosey goosey right now, but it's not terrible. i show you how it works under here. I got the keys in the ignition so I can do this. Right now she's in park. Uh, reverse. Neutral. Drive. Second first. And uh, you just want to make sure you kind of have like a washer back there to kind of keep up that slack. So I'm probably going to slide one in there so it doesn't do that. And then you got to look at this one up here too. Make sure that's not, you know... You can see how I got a little bit of play right there. So I'm going to figure out something later on there, too. But for right now, it all works, and that's great. And there's that stupid B&M shifter cable right there. Works great on my 65 Barracuda, because I have it coming on the passenger side of the trans tunnel, and it just loops all around this bell housing, and then goes onto the bracket and to the shaft selector. Uh, and I also have some 3 8 line on the hose as a 
a heat protector with zip ties and then some more zip ties to keep up closer to the bell housing so nothing catches it while I'm going down the road. So it's been fine, you know, for the past year, especially going to both parts of the Strip in Las Vegas. So I'm really happy that I have everything working out just perfectly fine and even with this transmission because this 904 transmission is actually out of a 74 Plymouth satellite so that's a B body I think it was a 74 uh, so that's freaking awesome right there and the other thing I had going on here was that starter bolt was walk working its way loose and I thought the threads were stripped out it turns out it was the other and uh, a different bolt so I found this longer bolt and got to go through and that's just perfectly fine and it's working it's keeping that starter flush and uh, just mounted as tight as it can be and I was trying to work on getting a nut back there just just to make sure it wouldn't even spin out at all but it's pretty tight for what it is so I'm gonna leave it like that um, got a little 318 in here and it's casting number on the motor this came out of a I think uh, early 80s Dodge truck that's why it decoded um, and it has the 340 exhaust manifold somebody swapped those on here so that's freaking awesome and I was a little worried that this whole link assembly wouldn't work because of this dual exhaust that's custom welded in here but I, don't know, I got plenty of room to work with so that's that's awesome so that's kind of uh, you know how it works on the zine linkage for the shifter so I'm gonna wrap up here and go take this for a good test drive and another test drive first test drive worked out great that's why I'm having to do all this again because as soon as I parked this where it is I couldn't get it to go back and park and it was just the cable in that sheath was just poking itself out um, it was not like that. I, I cut all that out, and I'm just gonna let it sit there for right now because it's a pain in the butt to get this custom center console somebody put in there out and all that jazz. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And we got the other portion kind of like right here on the ground. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out there. You got, uh, you know, again that one rod that goes to the steering column goes to your Z linkage and then you got a series of uh, one or two bushings right there and there's a cotter pin behind that to connect this bracket to the Z bracket and then you got that separate piece that bolts to the trans right there and then behind this bracket right here is where the cotter pin is hiding for the main linkage that goes to the shaft selector so alrighty